A lot, I mean, the, the majority of the record, the majority of all the writing is actually written by our drummer Mike. Mike is the lyricist for the band, he writes a lot of the skeletons for the songs, and then we come in and we make, you know, we, we, we mesh everything together and then try to realize, okay, like, this is the song, this is the idea from his head, how can we bring it to life through Pentimento? So, what's really interesting for my job, and something I didn't really, I really didn't deal with a whole lot before this band, I was always a lyricist for my own songs and things like that, so when I came into this, it started to really make me look at the songs and try to understand, okay, what's the message here? How do I attach myself to the message? And how can I bring this message to life for everyone else, you know? So at, th at the point in time when we were actually writing the full length, this was one of the songs that we had on a back catalog from an old band that we started just before uh, Pentimento called This Very Moment. For lyrical content, I think I get attached to the songs very differently than the way Mike writes them. And he's somebody who wants to write the songs to allow different interpretations for everyone. So I think it's definitely every song you do hear um, a, a little bit about like the existential dilemma, uh, about like trying to understand who you are, where you're going, and, and why you do the things that you do. And with that song, it starts off as a journey of um, you know kind of reflecting on a relationship where you're trying to go, where that person in the relationship is trying to take you along with them, and then realizing that. With any relationship, there's a compromise, you know. With this song, it always comes down to me when I think about it, when I'm singing it, of just getting to that point of when is enough enough and when do you have to let go or when do you hang on along with that other person involved. So when it gets to the point of, you know, um, I never give up on you, so don't give up on me, that's, it's kind of a selfish thing to ask someone to do that. And you have to be able to come to terms to the point of, okay, if, if someone else in my life does not feel the same way that I do, even knowing I never gave up, I can, exp I can hope that they don't give up on me in the same return. But at the end of the day, it's all based on you know, the questions of how do you answer these questions yourself in your own head and not you know, basing everything you do off of what someone else is doing cohesively with you. you know? I am very lucky because uh, when we're on tour and, and as we focus more on the band and less at you know our normal work lives when we go home every night I'm able to kind of vent that and let that out you know this sets to me I don't know you start a band and you don't realize how much goes into it you know you don't realize that there's all these other hours of the day that you have to do to get to the show and then there's loading and unloading and buying merch and putting money into the van when the van breaks down on tour and then what am I going to eat today and all these things whatever and then you realize that really the only focus of this entire thing is that 25 or 30 minute set you know so I try to I don't know if I try to bottle these things up or bottle up emotions throughout my day or realize that we all deal with the same things in different ways but when it comes down to the set that's like when I can get it out, you know, that's like, that, that's when it, it, all, it all comes to life and you're able to, you know, allow these things to flow freely, with, you know, within yourself. And I think that with anybody you find, especially with our songs, we always want them to be able to be accessible for anybody who's dealing with anything. We all deal with the same things just in different ways, you know. I've definitely learned that from even meeting different people around the country is that, You've, all, you've always got that one girlfriend that got away, or, you've, or that one boyfriend, or whatever, you know. And in our songs too, I think definitely there's a little bit of a misunderstanding with a lot of people with that. Not every song is just about, you know, a girl or a relationship. A lot of the songs are about, you know, the inner questions of yourself and trying to be proud of who you are and the decisions that you make while you're making those decisions, you know. Me, I'm able to be the one who is portraying this message, but I, I, I live this message just like anybody else does, you know. I, I'm dealing with the same exact things, and even with Just Friends, kind of, you know, with that song, Mike talks about living between deja vu and delirium, and I cannot tell you how many times in my day I feel like I'm literally reliving the same exact mistakes that I personally have made over and over and over again. Why do I not learn from them? Why do we not learn from them? And, you know, and you just, music is a crazy thing where you can, you can really allow yourself to be submerged in it and allow yourself to have those feelings and those emotions. Like myself, I love so many sad bands. Like one of my favorite bands of all times is The Weaker Thans and John Sampson's lyrics and, and, and that whole dynamic of the band is like, you think to yourself, man, if you listen to this stuff day in, day out, you're bound to be depressed for the rest of your life, you know? And as a band, you're up there playing this set of the songs that may be depressing day in, day out, you know? But it's... I don't know. I definitely we, we try we try to focus on the whole the whole philosophy of um, kind of like the yin and yang. You know the 
like you, you with, with, with the good comes the bad and if you allow both these things to free flow together that's how you stay on like an even balance and and through the songs I definitely think you can hear that I think that when you're growing up you you get so I don't know I really question myself why I was so bummed or why I was so depressed or why I let certain things get to me you know and you don't realize that it's okay this is a like it's a natural thing for anybody to have these feelings but it's your choice how you focus on them and it's your choice how you interact with them you know so for the band we're very lucky I'm a very lucky individual to be able to get this crap out you know and that's the whole point is when we're playing the set you know not only and you hear bands say this all the time but the songs aren't just our songs or everyone's songs you know but that literally is the truth so that when you're coming to my show or to our show you can get that out the same way that I am you know the only difference is I'm just the guy on stage doing it you know but there's no difference from anybody else who's interacting with that song and I have had countless bands you know just like you're saying save my life like you know saves the day was a band for me that my first record was canceled down I bought it at uh, media play and um, it was uh, saves the day canceled down and Misfits famous monsters were my first two records and interacting with I just, I'll never forget walking, you know, to and from middle school, listening to Chris Conley just pour his heart out. I never heard that before, you know? I don't know, it's just like, you can sit and have a great conversation with somebody, and that moment in time, that conversation can mean something to you for the rest of your life, just the same way a song can, or a, a visual, or a painting, or even this interaction right now, you know? Both of us will take something away from this conversation that we did not have before this exact, you know? It's all about the moment, man. It's all about the it, it, interacting with your moment and realizing that Every moment is a new opportunity for you to interact with it the way that you please. And everything, every consequence, every everything comes from a product of your choices and how you interact with those choices that you make, you know? It's real ass shit. It's real ass lyrics, it's real ass chords, and it's the music that we love and it's cool because with this band we're not we're like we're not trying to some bands have to go along this path of trying to be like something. If you're in, in I love hardcore bands, but if you're a hardcore band and, you, and you're yelling all the time, you know, and have really heavy riffs and heavy content, that's what you're doing. And same thing with us. I mean, we're playing a softer music with singing, so we're more focused on that. But there's no, I don't know, there's no set path for us, and I love that about this band. Like, we, like our first record, we, we recorded in the same room that the Goo Dolls' first records came out in, you know? So to be around the world of a, of a band that started like in the punk rock realm too, and then grew into this entire thing, if we can grow into that dynamic of just writing great songs that just mean something to the band and to the people that listen to them, that's, that's it. You know, that's job well done, I guess. <laughs> told you I took me